So they salivate and then they actually put it all over their front paws like that and then they wipe it all over their faces and then that is how they cool down. Now he'll lie in the, in the shade and pant and uh, the silly boy. Oh my gosh, I was in my eye. <laughs> All right, good morning everyone. Um, so the other day I was doing a, an installment, an episode for Meet the One and Only uh, Bonga and Tika, the hyenas. And it was hectic. They ran all over the place and I didn't really get to um, say everything I wanted to say, believe it or not. And so I decided I was gonna make it a two-part video. And so this is the second part and where I left off, I said I was going to try and take Egypt and Kita out, uh, but with a hyena, as you all know, it's not always uh, that simple. Sometimes you get what you get. I'm going to aim for Egypt because I do want to talk about the one and only Egypt, um, and we'll see who we get with him, um, and then we'll go out on a walk and we'll uh, myth bust um, some of the the myths that I didn't get to in the last video. <laughs> okay, so we got them in. There we go, old man. Oh, that went easier than I thought. Okay, so all that's left to do is to load these two. Kira, yeah. Good boy. Yeah. 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 Egypt. Egypt. No, Egypt. You're the guy I need. Yeah, Egypt. Oh, there we go. Good boy. Good old man. Forget that you haven't quite got the strength in those back legs. <laughs> he's willing, but sometimes he's just not able. <laughs> Arrived at the site. I'm gonna let the boys go, and the boys are gonna have some fun. <laughs> He's a bit nervous, but he'll get out now. <laughs> Uh, Egypt, being older, doesn't quite have the energy of Bonga and Tika, a little bit younger. Kito is slightly younger, not by too much, but uh, definitely see them slow down in their years approaching 20. Egypt um, has gotten grey in the face. He's always got quite a distinctive look about him. Um, more of a jackal kind of snout, more than a hyena. You don't always see eye to eye. As he's got older, he's got better. Because I think he's decided that fighting is not the answer. Um, so he has got better with age, but he's definitely a candidate for one and only. There's no other hyena like him. He is definitely the one and only Egypt <laughs> in looks, in personality, in everything. Uh, certainly takes the um, accolade for being the oldest hyena uh, in my care. And so that also makes him the one and only. And he's a perfect candidate to be on a walk with talking about some of the, the myths and misconceptions surrounding spotted hyena. So, Mr. Egypt, once upon a time, my boy, 
you won't know this because you're not on social media, but once upon a time, when Mr. Ajip, when I posted a picture of Mr. Ajip, and uh, I looked at the comments and likes on on uh, social, it wouldn't get more than a few thousand. And now, uh, pictures and videos of hyenas rival that of lions and leopards. And so often I'm being told now by my following that they want to be seeing more and more um, videos and pictures of hyenas. So guys, let's make this video rock. Let's make it go viral. Let's give these guys a bit of a boost and show the world that they are not animals to be feared, but rather animals to be revered and that they are an incredible part of the ecosystem and uh, incredibly well adapted to what they do. They, yes, they can scavenge, but by the same token, he's heard the, his clan and now he's attracted to the sound. So yes, they can scavenge, but by the same token, they are absolutely brilliant predators too and can hunt up to 75% of what they eat. If you look at them, or you take a close look at them, they're not ugly. They're actually quite beautiful animals. with their mongoose-like features. I mentioned before, hyenas are in a class of their own or a family of their own called hyenida. So they are not cats and they are not dogs. And he smelt something. Oh, sorry, my boy, those eyes failing you. So I, I decided to take Adrip out today because firstly, because of our sometimes complex relationship, um, it doesn't always allow me to. But nowadays that he's calmed down and simmered down, you can try things over. And this is the thing about animals is that sometimes it's, it's so easy to just give up on them um, and say, you know what? This is how it is, sorry, I tried and leave it at that. But, you know, perseverance does pay off. <laughs> and look who's come to join us. Keto boy, hey? Where did you come from? He's still sprightly. I, I, like, uh, I like your pace, Ajip. Ajip, no, don't speed up, boy. <laughs> he speeds up. The hyenas on the run. <laughs> yes, these guys have energy. Have energy and energy and energy. <laughs> Gonna get my steps in. Okay, so stand by for myths. So hyenas have an evil laugh. Or do they? And uh, many a time I've heard people say, oh, but their, their giggle and their whoop is so haunting, you know. And actually for me, it's a, a classical iconic sound of the bush almost um, as iconic as a lion roar in fact I would say as iconic and uh, the African bush without the hyena whoop or the classical hyena whoop, whoop would be wouldn't be the same if we didn't have that sound in the bush it just would not be the same and that would be a, a really really sad day if we saw the last hyena disappear because uh, hyena are such a critical part of the environment uh, what we call as a uh, an indicator species they kind of indicate the health of an environment because they are so crucial and critical to the environment um, they play such a vital role in the environment they play a role in cleaning up the environment they even play a role in cleaning up 
pathogens within the environment because they have such um, strong digestive and immune systems. So we can actually, in many respects, thank these guys for being such amazing, amazing animals and keeping the environment healthy. He's gonna paste. Wow, good, good example of pasting. Pasting there with hyena butter. What a lovely name, hyena butter. So that's the paste that they secrete from their anal gland. He's gonna do it again. He's sniffing there, watch what he does. Yeah, you see he protrudes his anal gland and then he puts uh, hyena butter all over that, uh, that, that um, stalk of grass sticking out, uh, sticking out and about. It's just almost like perfectly designed to go over it. Uh, but so yeah, they clean up the environment, they have such strong immune systems that they can uh, uh, clean up pathogens of the environment, so much so that even anthrax is not even a problem for hyena, which is incredible. We should be thanking them for, for doing that. Uh, vultures and hyenas, <laughs> two species we love to hate. Uh, but anyway, so a haunting laugh, perhaps? A evil laugh? No. I think it's, it's a wonderful sound. It's a strong sound. It can be heard from kilometers and kilometers away. Uh, it's it's uh, audible to the human ear from eight kilometers on a still night, perhaps even more. But to them, they could probably hear it a lot further away. And such a good boy today. But I don't always want pictures of your bum. Sometimes I want pictures of your face. I want people to see, see your grey. See your grey. Hey? Hey, monster? Yeah, come here. Yeah. Yeah. Hyenas absolutely love to be scratched there. It's one of their favorite pastimes. And I can feel on uh, old AG, his muscle mass has got a lot less. They normally got a very powerful uh, neck, lots of muscles in the neck, but I can feel as he's got older, his muscles have kind of atrophied. Hey, my boy. Yeah. Anyway, you're still a, you're still a handsome boy. So here he's trying to get him to lift his leg um, and Adrip says no I'm not going to lift my leg uh, you must respect your elders <laughs> often when I'm talking to people about hyena I hear people say hyenas are stupid oh who needs hyenas they're just stupid smelly scoundrels you know and I think they don't understand what they're saying because hyenas have brains that are absolutely brilliant. Um, and I love to tell people about their cognitive abilities. And there's one that really sticks into my mind and it's about the... Taking a break, big boy. Yeah. So there's one study that uh, sticks with me and it'll stick with me forever. And it's about how hyenas uh, in problem solving experiments, collaborative problem solving experiments outperformed chimpanzees. And as soon as I say chimpanzees, they outperform chimpanzees in collaborative problem solving experiments, people go like, no ways, you're lying. And uh, yeah, go and Google it, guys. If you don't believe me, go and Google the experiments. I think they were performed at Berkeley University in the United States with a captive clan of hyenas. And uh, what transpired is that the hyenas would have to pull on a rope uh, simultaneously, two separate ropes, in order for the food reward to be released. And they were so smart at adapting and, and figuring, figuring it out that even dominant individuals would sometimes take on a subordinate kind of role to teach the other how to do 
uh, the rope pull and then they would go and coordinate and pull the rope together and do it repeatedly to get the reward whereas the chimps um, couldn't do it uh, and that's not just in that experiment there were other uh, collaborative problem solving experiments where the hyenas repeatedly outperformed the chimps either due to the chimps selfishness or the inability are you having fun? Hey kitty, kiddo. Who that pretty boy, eh, with a grey face? That pretty boy with a grey face. You're grey like me, eh? Where are you going? Where are you going, eh? Where are you going? Ooh, look at that coat. Look at that coat. Ooh, that scratch under their head is so nice, Kev. The myth goes that hyenas are cowards. Have we, haven't we heard that? Hyenas are cowards. They're so cowardly. Look at them, how they skulk and they, you know, they, they, they run away and they, you know, they never confront and that's rubbish. Hyenas are smart enough to know that they are no match for a lion, especially on their own. But when they band together, and they collaborate, ah, collaboration. If we know where that comes from, they're smart, they collaborate. So they put their differences aside for the sake of the common goal. They band together and they go and intimidate. And they can be so intimidating that they can actually chase lions off a kill. How smart is that? You don't need to expend the energy to um, kill it yourself. All you do is you use the art of intimidation. All right, here's a, a did you know. Uh, hyena came around about, about, about 22 million years ago. What? 22 million years ago? Yeah, 22 million years ago, around the time of the saber-tooth tiger and the saber-tooth cats. And yes, Quite right, they were predominantly scavengers. But then about, I don't know, hard to know, but about 10 million years ago, when uh, those big saber tooth started to die out, then, um, yeah, then the hyenas went from uh, being these uh, scavengers to uh, more of these hunters as we know them today. Look at you, you've got foam everywhere. So that's what hyenas do when they are hot. Let me just show what he's done so they salivate and then they actually put it all over their front paws like that and then they wipe it all over their faces and then that is how they cool down now he'll lie in the in the shade and pant and uh, the silly boy oh my gosh I was in my ah ugh. <laughs> thanks there yeah, so they haven't quite uh, clicked onto the fact that there's a nice, beautiful dam uh, down at the bottom and uh, they can go and roll around in there and cool off. So what I'll do in the case of Egypt is I'll just call the, the Le Transport and we can put uh, the old man in the transport and trans him, transport him back. All right guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed myth busting a few myths about the spotted hyena. As many of you would know, hyenas hold a very special place in my heart. Um, I too once thought that they were stinky, smelly, rotten scoundrels until I got to know them. And I hope uh, these videos have changed your views on these incredible, incredible animals. Thanks for watching and until next time on Nine Whisperer TV, bye!